still take news. I can just take news. The big story out of Thursday night was Jack Rewald's wrist. We saw there he landed awkwardly on it, valiantly came back on and tried to play, but he was clearly under duress. Now, if you're a journalist, you want to break the story first. And Daniel Cherney from The Age has decided to go online. So you've got to own this. Jack Rewalt's hurt his scaphoid and he's expected to miss eight weeks. Love the reply from Jack himself. Have you got X-ray vision, Daniel? <laughs> now, after the scans, so he's, he's hurt his radius right. and he's going to miss four weeks. So, Daniel, that's fake news. <laughs> You've got Poor to get Daniel. it right. You, you've Have got to. to check your fat. Well, you do, but sometimes, as a journalist, you get, I get a, a dud deal from a, a source. So yeah. Dan is actually quite a good journalist. Do you know where the radius is in your... Yeah, it's along here Which somewhere. One? Somewhere in the arm. <laughs> Ulnar and radius, I think. What about... Have you ever had any fake news spread about you, Josh? I have, Brownie. It takes me back to my time down in Geelong a few years ago. I was with my old mate, Billy Smets, and we thought it would be funny. Oh, no. We had, some, we had some balaclavas, and we thought it would be funny to knock on our, uh, <laughs> our teammate Jackson Thurlow's door. he just moved into a new place. It was a nice new unit and it was one of those ones where the front doors were only about a metre apart or two metres apart. Unfortunately we knocked on the wrong door <laughs> which I've always admitted but it was reported in the news that we knocked on the complete wrong house and actually in fact then broke into the house and an old lady uh, saw us in there and, and, and called the police. So it was which, fake news? It was based on a true story but as you, as you well, can hear... Well if you had Bella Claver on how did they know it was you? <laughs> Well, that's a good point, Brownie. But <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we took them off after about 30 seconds. But, yeah, never let the truth get in the way of a good story. So you would have yeah. had plenty of fake news spread about you over the years. I can remember one late in my career. Remember the Motel Nightclub in South Melbourne? You would have been there, Brownie, oh, a few times. Do I want? They, <laughs> they reported that I was marched out by the bouncers one night. Uh, not true. No. I just walked out myself. <laughs> I knew I'd had a few, so it was time to leave Brownie. The bouncers didn't kick me out, though, so the Herald Sun got that wrong. Very mature of you. Mm. Fake news. I like it. Well done, Brownie. You finally brought something to the table. All right, tonight.